Welcome to Kaysan Kitchen. So long time back, I'm going to start back to my cooking channel. So I'm making today Bhutanese thukpa. Thukpa means uh, soup, Bhutanese soup. So when we make thukpa, we need uh, one, uh, two pounds of any meat. This is like a, I'm making today ribs, uh, chopped ribs, two pounds, and then one uh, uh, tablespoon chopped garlic, ginger and then one uh, tablespoon of uh, chili powder and one tablespoon of garlic and uh, salt you could uh, put uh, how much maybe some people like uh, more some people like less and also I need the uh, uh, radish to put on that soup so I have one eggs for to make a dough so this uh, eggs go to dough and then I have a scallion, scallion goes in the last, ended when everything cooking done. So I use that on the last. So now I will show you what goes in everything. The ribs is already washed. I wash in the salt always, I, I wash in salt. Then I add the chopped uh, ginger, then chili powder because we using lot because we eat, uh, we eating spicy and then chop uh, garlic all like a tablespoon and then I add uh, salt like uh, around I like to use around right now salt is up to you how much you want so I use like a kind of a three teaspoon so to make fast to make fast I boil the hot water so when I add a uh, hot water is cook uh, more faster so I don't add uh, oil in the pork ribs because that have oil already and cook for around uh, 30 to 40 minutes then I will let you know after that I will show you well when I'm cooking this one so I'm gonna make the dough now I'm making dough for the soup so like kind of handmade uh, dough. So I'll show you how to make. So I always add one egg in the dough and I add little bit uh, salt, half teaspoon of salt because for the taste. And then water is, uh, I can measure because you know, uh, you have to have a perfect uh, uh, dough. So I don't know the cup uh, measure, one and a half cup flour bowl maybe around uh, half cup of water maybe so mix it it's the same thing like uh, you're making bread you know same thing only we don't add the like a baking powder or baking soda but it's not good to add those one for the noodle Okay, so I'm gonna roll it over here. My table is always clean because I clean with the vinegar. So you could roll it over here. Then I will show how to make the dough. This one I learned from my father. Back on when we are little, my father used to make this uh, soup a lot and he showed me how to make dough and how to make the soup. But it's over here I make a uh, couple stamps, but being lazy and I didn't make it. So my son loved this soup. So I'll show how to make the dough. Just same thing like are you making bread. You don't have to be perfect circle, you could do any shape, doesn't matter. It's like a kind of flat noodle. So that's it. So I want to put uh, getting ready for You 
could cut any shape. Doesn't matter the, if you are in restaurant, then you have to have a perfect shape. So either you want long one or short one, it's fine. This is going to be too long, so I will make half cut. Cut in the middle and then put it on here. Okay, I'm done with making dough, so all I made uh, in this, so I'm waiting for to cook my bone, so then I am cutting my whole radish, and uh, so I put only half, so I cut it into the pieces, not too thick, not too thin, so same size of the french fry, so I slice it down, so soon as the uh, bone done in 30 minutes, so I add the radish. So after the radish, uh, in around five minutes, then I add the dough. So after adding dough, then I'll cook for around high says 15 minutes, then I will show you guys. So when water gets less, so I have to add uh, more water. So I always boil water on the side. The uh, soup needs a lot of water, so I put uh, half water because uh, to boil the cook uh, the meat. So I add a little more. You need a full water. So after all meat is done, so you put a little more. Right now, this much is good. Again, I have to add one more time. Okay, after 30 minutes past the boiling the bone, bone is already ready. So beef bone take little longer than uh, pork ribs. So ribs cook so faster than uh, regular beef. So my bone is ready. Now I'm ready to add my radish is now beef is ready I'll show you the, not beef I mean the ribs is ready I taste it it's perfect so already cook if you, you cook over then meat and the bone separate it's taste uh, not good so I'll add radish radish and I will add hot water little we need soup we need a lot of water add one more time soup this is last adding that's all boil for like a two minutes then I have to add the dough after three minutes uh, radish then I will add uh, the dough now so radish is boiling bone is boiling and I'll slow down for light I'll add two not to stick together, so I'll do the one at the time. So if you put everything together, it's gonna be big one, big ball. So you have to put it separately. Homemade soup and handmade dough. It's delicious, especially winter. Winter more stick on the soup is better. All done. Like a baby says, all done, done. And I don't use the scooper because it's gonna get stick. Do you slowly? Right now, boiling time. You put high heat. Soon as it's done boiling properly, then you have to put to low heat for 15 minutes. Then all done soup. Okay, it's done now after 15 minutes cooking dough and radish is already done now what i do is i will sprinkle it the uh, scallion so i put the uh, scallion on the top so i like the fresh everything 
If you put more, it's better. Taste better. So that's it. Then me and my camera boy is gonna taste. See, I want to try the soup. Wow, that's so good, so good. Perfect for everyone. I need to add only little bit salt. Little bit salt. <clears throat> but some are, they don't need too much salt. That's perfect. And if you need spicy, you could always add spicy. But for me, is spicy is good too. Perfect. Perfect. This is winter soup. Really good. Tyson. Okay, guys, so uh, this is one of my favorite Bhutanese soup, tukpa. Uh, let's try the soup good. first. That's good. Mm -hmm. Clean and good, right? Uh, definitely good. Let's try so, salt is good? Yeah. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Yeah, what I like about this is like a simple, simple ingredient. Yeah. And a lot of flavor. This is definitely good during the winter when you're sick. Winter is. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you for watching my show. So Turi is uh, simple and uh, healthy for winter. Especially when winter, when soup is very important. So we like to drink a lot of soup. So thank you for watching my channel. So I hope you guys are going to like it. Please subscribe my channel and give thumbs up for my channel so next time i'll do better and i'll become a little bit more better and cleaner and i'll try my best thank you i wish you guys gonna like my show thank you bye bye